All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So today is going to be your general love reading. So let's take a look and see what's going on with you and the person on your mind. I'm going to pull a card for you and a card for them. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is in the description box. All right, so let's take a look. Your energy towards them. We've got spring. Their energy towards you is nostalgia. Okay, so I feel like you guys are in this energy of wanting to rejuvenate the connection like wanting to bring things to in this new light like a lighter energy the spring card is like renewal some of you guys are wanting to renew the connection for them they're really missing you right now so there could be some distance if you're with this person already they want to see you more they want to spend more time with you it's like they're longing for you so let's see what's going on what is coming through the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I get like, um, there is this sort of, things can kind of feel like they're up in the air right now with the Two of Pentacles. You don't know where you stand. Maybe they don't know where they stand. The connection itself could just be kind of up in the air. Maybe you guys haven't had a conversation of what this is. I'm also getting a lack of action with the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles would also indicate that. I don't see any movement right now between the two of you. Um, that could be why this person is missing you and why you're wanting like some sort of like renewal or something to shift and change here. So how do they feel about you? What's their energy towards you right now? We have Strength in reverse. This could be a Leo. What is their energy towards you? And the Three of Swords. Okay. So this person is having a lot of doubts. They're really lacking confidence right now. Um, they're still reeling from some sort of heartbreak, whether this is related to you or someone else. They're in sort of, like, you know when you are feeling kind of emotionally weak, it makes you doubt yourself. Like, say for instance, like, anyone who's who's been through a breakup, you know, especially if you weren't expecting it, it can take a toll on you and you have to kind of rebuild yourself, rebuild your self-esteem, rebuild your confidence. I feel like that's what this person is going through right now. They definitely miss you. I'm seeing the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Like they're definitely nostalgic. They're definitely thinking about past memories, but there is some residual pain and they're having doubts about, to me, this feels like themselves. Like they're doubting their confidence in themselves at this point. Let's see. How do they feel? Powerless. They're feeling powerless right now. It says here, paralyzed, ineffective, and weak. Yeah, did I not just say emotionally weak? Exactly. They're feeling weak. Like, they're feeling... I don't know what got them in this powerless energy. Definitely heartbreak, but it's like... They're having this doubt. They don't know how to approach you. They're, like, doubting themselves. They're not feeling confident in themselves right now. Um, and so... They're kind of in this victim mode. Yeah, they may even be feeling... Actually, they may be going through a depression... Okay, so how are you feeling about this person? How are you feeling about this person? Six of Cups in reverse coming out, so you both miss each other. The Two of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, a lot of you are daydreaming a lot about this person. Um, you're thinking about this person a lot. And I'm seeing here there is a desire to come together. There's a desire to have some sort of a union. Um... Some of you are envisioning how this could work out. You feel a strong connection with this person. Let's see, how do you feel? Ooh, we have anger though. Okay, that can make sense. The Six of Cups reverse can sometimes be this energy of still holding on to a, like a, a negative memory from the past. So you might still be angry about something that happened in the past. Let's find out what this is. The Sun in reverse. Okay, I feel like this person caused you some sort of sadness. Yeah, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person in the past caused you some sort of sadness because they were holding back from you is what I'm feeling. Some of you are still angry about this, but I feel like nonetheless you still have feelings for this person. Like it's not necessarily affecting your feelings. I think actually both of you still have some hurt and pain from the past, but you still care about each other. You still have feelings for each other. What happened in the past actually? Someone might have went distant. Someone someone might have started acting distant. We have the soulmate card. Oh. Mm, okay. 
So what I think happened between you and this person is there was this recognition like, wow, this is my soulmate. This is like a deep spiritual connection. But I feel like someone got freaked out in the past and distanced themselves from this soulmate connection. It's like, you know, you feel a connection with someone, but then you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not worthy of this though. I'm not good enough for this. And then you, you distance yourself. That's what happened. Maybe they did. Maybe this person was the one who distanced themselves from you or started holding back. Now, if you're wondering why, it's because they started doubting their worthiness of this. They really started feeling like, oh my gosh, I think this is my soulmate. Like, I think this is my person, yet I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. And so it's like they started to distance themselves. They started to hold back. And I think you guys are upset about this. They're heartbroken. They just have a lot of doubts. This person is doubting themselves. That they're not confident right now. And I think because of this, it's like this person wants to be with you and they're hurt over this connection, but they feel so powerless because they don't feel strong enough in themselves to do anything about it. So they're just falling into this sort of depression because it's like they want to be with you, but they don't feel good enough for you. So they feel very stuck. They feel like, again, if you look here, this person has their, their hands tied. They feel very stuck right now. What does spirit want to say about this connection? Conclusion. Clarify. Wow, we literally have conclusion and release. So this could be spirit saying that maybe you made the best decision or you made a good decision by letting this person go or by releasing this person. Again, I already feel like you guys are not together. I feel like you're separated from this person is what it feels like. Yeah, you might have cut this person out. Page of Swords reverse. You may have cut this person out. And I feel like Spirit is saying this was good. This was the right decision because this person wasn't stepping up. You do have a strong soul connection with this person, but they were not stepping up. And I think you it caused you to feel very angry at them because they were holding back so much from you. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to you? You make me want to try harder at relationships. Definitely, right? Like, you're inspiring this person to become better. But until they become better, they're feeling very powerless because they do want to be with you. They do feel that you guys have a soulmate connection or you have a deep spiritual connection. They're stuck in their own feelings of low self-worth and inadequacy and lack of confidence. We have, will you be mine forever? This person wants you forever. I'm afraid that if I commit, you will abandon me. Okay? See, these are their fears. I hate when you give me the silent treatment. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you cut this person out. And I feel like you did the right thing. Like, if you cut them out, this is a confirmation from spirit that you made the right decision to release this at this point in time. And it's not to say that never again you can open yourself up to this person. But I feel like based on the energy that they were giving you, you made the right decision to cut this person out. And they're deeply affected by this. Like, they really do not like this silent treatment that you're giving them. They do see a future with you. This person's very attached to you. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's making them feel, like, almost codependent, this silent treatment. Clarify this. I'm afraid that if I commit, you'll abandon me. The Ace of Wands in reverse. This person's view of themselves is so, like, up and down. It's like some days they feel good about themselves. Other days they don't. And... Because of their inconsistency in their view of themselves, they worry that you will abandon them. They want to reach out and then they put it. I think in the past, this person might have like came out really strong and then only to like pull back completely with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. How do they see you? How does this person see you? They think that you are with someone else. Three of Cups. This person thinks that you're involved, whether you are or not. They think you're involved with someone else. But yeah, they feel like they got the truth that you're involved with someone else. Ace of Swords. That could be why they're heartbroken. I don't know if you are or not. Some of you may be, but they feel like they've got this clarity. They found out the truth that you're involved or that you're connected to someone else from their perspective. It is stressing them out. Nine of Swords. What is their most likely action? Will this person be taking the action towards you? Temperance in reverse. Nope. I don't 
see any action. That's been happening in the in these collective readings lately. Now, the reason why you won't be hearing from this person is because they're not balanced emotionally. Temperance, Reverse, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Page of Cups. But this person is not ready to open up to you or be vulnerable with you with the Page of Cups in Reverse. They may even know that they need to apologize to you about something, but they're holding back on that. Um, they're not balanced. Like again, there's there's this inconsistency in their energy. The Ace of Wands reverse is someone who's hot and cold, up and down. One day you get this, the next day you get this. They change up a lot because it's their it's like mirroring their view of themselves. Because this person is not seeing themselves in the most positive way, they're afraid that if they commit to you, it's like they can't stabilize their sense of self. Okay? So I wouldn't expect anything from this person quite yet. But I feel like this is a confirmation from spirit that you made the right decision to release this person or to let them go, if you're wondering, okay? This person at some point down the road may change and evolve and learn from this because you are inspiring them to try harder at relationships, but they're not there yet. They can't show up for you fully yet because they can't show up for themselves fully yet, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box and there is a promotion going on, all right? But I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.